The lower suspension arms on the X4 are offered in the all new and unique CCF material. As you may have seen, they look like this. They are a V shape and they have a carbon and composite fusion, which is unique for X-ray. And I'm gonna explain the difference between the different arms that we offer. The graphite kit comes with medium hardness arms. This is because the medium hardness is the best suited arms for asphalt racing and asphalt surfaces, and even sometimes for a low grip carpet. But for racing on carpet, we generally prefer the hard arms, so that's why the alum aluminum car kits come with the hard arms. The hard arms are a bit stiffer, they will free up the car a little bit and make it more consistent for higher grip surfaces. So that's why we have different kit options with different um, arms included in the kit. This kit here is a graphite kit, so it has medium arms included. And um, I'm not gonna inst install the pivot balls into the arms, and I'm gonna show you how you can do it in the easiest way without damaging the arms. So what we need to use here is the um, Hudi multi-tool, which looks like this. It's really invaluable uh, in the process of building the X4. I mean, this tool really makes it a lot easier. So what we do is we install the pivot ball for the inside part of the arm onto this little pin here on the multi-tool. This ball goes in from the top of the arm. So you need to make sure that you put it in in the right direction. You put the top of the arm onto the ball and you use the multi-tool to install this arm. Install this ball into the arm. As you can see, it went in very easily and it's moving freely as well. I'm gonna just repeat this with um, the same arm so that you can see again. Put the ball onto the pin, put the arm onto the ball and push it in there moving perfectly freely. Then for the ball stud, which goes in the outer part of the arm to hold the hubs, it has to go in from the bottom of the arm. So the other way compared to the other pivot balls. So what you do is you put this ball into the arm like this. Then we're gonna use the multi-tool again, but we're gonna remove this pin that we use to push the arms into the arms. So we're gonna put this ball here. We then just put this into the multi-tool here. And we push it into place. It's important to do this straight and not at an angle. So as you can see, it went in perfectly fine as well. It's moving freely and it's installed. So we need to repeat this process for all the forearms. So then what you need to do is just, you need to remove the little pin here to be able to use the arm and the multi-tool to push the outer pivot ball into the arm as well. So I'm just gonna continue to put these balls inside the arms here.
all of these arms. I'm gonna go together in the exact same way. again in the multi-tool. tight fit but they will always move freely once they're in there. We can now proceed to install the set screws, which will be the fixation for the shocks, the shock absorbers to the arms. So keep in mind here that the, the rear arms, for example this one that, that I'm holding here is a front arm, but for the rear arms we are going to use the longer set screws because we're going to have to install a two millimeter shim at the bottom shock mounting point for the rear arms. This is not needed for the front, that's why we need the shorter set screw for the front arms. This is the longer set screw, it goes into the, the rear arms for the reason that we're going to use a 2mm shim to mount the shock later on. It's done, we're going to put the front screws in. just to leave space to, to mount the shocks. And then the set screws for the droop, the so-called uh, drop, uh, droop screws. Also the same for all four arms, but they're bigger diameter than the and the set screws for the shocks.
put these arms onto the chassis. So grab the chassis. We have these large diameter aluminum shims, which are specifically made for the, the graphite chassis to give you uh, better protection in a crash, so the chassis is better protected when you when you have a bigger surface area of the shim touching the chassis. So here I can recommend using this hoodie tool, which has a four, four millimeter slot here, which you can use on the pivot ball to hold it in place. This is not really needed when you install the arms on a on an empty chassis, but this will make your life a lot easier when you're trying to remove the arms from a fully assembled car. But you also have the option to um, Got a bit of glue there. some excess glue from that hole before we install the screw. Okay, once that is done, put the shim back on there. You also have the option here to use a three millimeter hex driver from the top to tighten the arm down. So when you have clearance, you can use this tool. When you don't, you can use this tool to reach the pivot ball. Okay, we're gonna move to the other arms and repeat this process. And we're then gonna move on to the front arms. And that's it, that's all the suspension arms installed on the chassis.